Hey, what is up, mortals? It is Rosalio Turbiartes here with a new video for you. In this video, we'll dive into the world and characters of the How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom anime. I just wanted to greet you guys by saying, just sit back and relax. You're in for a treat. So, let's get started. The show How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom is exciting to watch. The show doesn't follow a typical isekai formula. The main focus of the show is definitely its world building and characters. The action is still secondary in the anime, but the series still has many suspenseful moments. The show has a slice of life feel at some point, but it's mainly about the main character. A summoned hero who seeks to rebuild a kingdom. The main character is named Soma Kazuya. He is, of course, a Japanese man who is summoned to another world. Soma's life back in Japan wasn't bad, but he had no one left to love or share his life with. So when he was summoned, he didn't find many issues with himself being stuck there. He adapts to his situations relatively quickly. After a bit, due to Soma's knowledge and dark magic showing a possible future, he will become the new king. The kingdoms and the world he inherits are very different from ours. There are strange animals, monsters, beast people, and magic. He will go through the process of learning all these things and attempting to improve the world and his new kingdom. In the show, you see him gain allies, disrupt schemes, gain territory, and uplift the people of his nation. The world comprises of many countries and creatures. This world has a significant war against demons that is still happening. By the time Soma is summoned, the fighting has stagnated. The reason why Soma was summoned was because of the history of the world. Soma was summoned as a hero for payment and recognition of the Alfredmon agreement with the pact the humans and the beast people made. United against the demons, they will go fight them. But once the war stagnated, many countries stopped fighting. The Grand Chaos Empire, a mighty nation, requested our freedom to make its payments or perform a hero summoning. No one actually believed the hero summoning would work and that it wouldn't fulfill the agreement by attempting the ritual. Therefore, Soma's being summoned was not wholly intended. Soma would change the kingdom in many ways, mainly basing reforms on the ideals and beliefs of his original world. He would try to eliminate slavery, educate his people, prevent starvation, and promote the culture of many people as King Soma began radical reforms in order to improve the standard of living in the kingdom. Then, in the One Week War, Soma finds himself in the civil war between himself and Dukes George, Carmaine, and Castor Vargas. But with Duchess Excel as an ally, Soma will also have to fight the Principality of Amedonia. Through a series of military strategies, Soma emerges victorious, annexes Amedonia, and gains a new fiancé. This was entirely unplanned, but he will create the unified kingdom of Elfriden and Amedonia, known as the Kingdom of Fridonia. He will then forge a secret alliance with the Empress Maria Euphoria of the Grand Chaos Empire to keep peace. The essential characters in this series besides the main character Soma are Aisha Udgar, Licia Elfriden, Juna Doma, Rorora Amidonia, Domei Inui, Essia Water, George Carmaine, Castor Vargas, Hakuya Nomin, and Poncho. Each of these characters play an essential role and is unique. Aisha is the daughter of the Dark Chief and she meets Soma when he is gathering valuable people for the kingdom. Aisha wanted Soma to help her forest lose its trees. Soma will give her information to pass on and recruit her. Aisha will become his bodyguard and protect him. She is very strong and adept at magic. She isn't the most intelligent person and has a big appetite but is extremely loyal. She would slowly fall in love with Soma, especially during the landslide incident that would affect her people. After protecting Soma in the one week war, she becomes Soma's second fiancé. Licia Elfriden is probably the most crucial character besides Soma. She was the princess of the country Soma was given. Her parents will also offer her hand in marriage. When Licia heard of these events, she would leave her position under George Carmaine to investigate and confront Soma. Licia will come to accept Soma and want to marry him. Licia will have a connection to George Carmaine to help facilitate meetings. She will advise Soma in many ways and help him learn about the world he is in now. Licia herself is well trained and able to fight. She will be involved in every event involving the kingdom and Soma. Juna Doma is the granddaughter of the Duchess Excel. She is part of the Elfriedon Navy. She is also known as Lady Carneria of the Elfriedon Navy's force. When Soma searched for talented people, he will meet Juna and recruit her. She was initially sent to spy on Soma when he was first announced as the new king. Juna was an exceptional singer who would host the broadcast of the nation. She primarily aids Soma in both war and peace by being the primal Lorelei. 
So almost implantation of the content of the Japanese idol, she will become a face the people could view and trust. She was also intricate in gaining the Duchess Excel's support in the war. She will request to become one of Soma's wives but would be declined due to her value as a host. Soma said once they slowly ease her out of that role, then she could be with him. Aurora was the princess of Amedonia. Her father would wage war against Soma and attempt to take territory. As a result of the war, the region would become part of Elfridom. Aurora will offer herself as a wife and become integral to the fiancés of the new kingdom. She will also have connections to her brother, the heir to her father's kingdom. Tomo is a mystic wolf beast human. When Soma was recruiting talented people, Tomo will meet Soma. Tomo has the ability to speak with animals. She could explain situations to animals and help command them. She also possessed an extraordinary ability to talk to converse with demons. In this world, demons appeared and took over half the main continent over the years. No one is able to speak with them, and they see them as feral. Tomo's ability to talk with them makes her very important, and so she will become adopted by the royal family and become Licia's little sister. You do see her as much, but she is crucial. Excel is a duchess in the kingdom and is in charge of the navy. When the rebellion was taking shape, Juna was sent by her and she would communicate with Soma and Gregor and Castor rebelled. Excel would join with Soma and support him. She would become an advisor to him and be able to help him with political situations and knowledge of the other kingdom. George Cormain was the leader of the army and was a duke. He was actually a superior to Licia when she was an officer. He will gather the nobles of the kingdom who were corrupt and didn't like Soma and stage a rebellion. There are reasons for that, but I feel it's too big to give away. But just in case, he was a mighty warrior and strategist. He was extremely loyal to the king and his family. He would treat Licia like a daughter. Castor was also a duke and was in charge of the air force. In this world, they have dragons that can be ridden for air force purposes. He was loyal to George, so when he rebelled, he would also. His daughter would also fight with him in the rebellion. Let's take a break. This video is sponsored by Adobe. Adobe is redefining the digital experience through game-changing innovations that shape the next generation of storytelling. Adobe makes it easy to create, edit, and share digital documents securely, allowing you to collaborate and communicate across devices. Adobe Photoshop is your to-go application for raster graphics editing and digital art as a whole. At We The Celestials, all of our thumbnails across every channel are created by Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Premiere Pro is a timeline-based and non-linear video editing software application that is versatile and easy for beginning and for master editors. Finally, Adobe After Effects is the industry standard tool for digital visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing applications used in post-production. Many of our voice actors, audio editors, and video editors use Premiere Pro and After Effects to produce these high-quality videos. Click the link in the description and start creating now. And thank you Adobe for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue on with the rest of the essential characters and the review of the show and why you should watch it. Hakuya was recruited by Soma when Soma was looking for talented people. After Hakuya saw how Soma would use Poncho, he wanted to serve him. He will become the new prime minister. Hakuya will be crucial to all reforms and laws Soma will be introducing. He would also serve as an ambassador to other countries. He will keep in contact with Janae Euphoria of the Empire. Poncho would also meet with Soma while he was looking for talented people. Poncho has a knack for eating and making food. During a food crisis, Poncho was the instrumental in bringing new foods to the kingdom's people. Poncho's mission is to prevent the starvation of the people and also endorse the broadcasting system. Elisha Alfredin is the mother of Licia and the former queen. Her role is behind the scenes for most of the first season, but near the end of the first season, you see that she has an extraordinary ability to orchestrate for a better outcome. She possesses dark magic that lets her past self memories of her future self. In a different timeline, Soma was summoned, but instead of being a king, he was made prime minister. Coincidentally, Soma will fall in love with Lishila. The events that happened in the timeline were not good. It shows that she is a crucial and powerful character. Albert was the 13th king of Elfriden who was responsible for summoning Soma into their world. He is a father to Alicia and the husband of Alicia. He had previously been an unremarkable noble and was a thoroughly medicore king, staying in power mainly because he was so inoffensive. However, he did have the loyalty of many people, which was cause for the rebellion war. 
The show takes its time introducing characters and showing different perspectives. The show's main events are Rebellion War and the War with Amidonia. However, it also has events including starvation, the culture of a nation, slavery, refugees, and ordinary soldiers. These events are shown to show Soma's effect on the kingdom of other perspectives. The anime How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom currently has one entire season with 26 episodes. It is believed that it should get a second season, but there's no news now. Why you should watch it The show overall does a lot of thinking and explaining of the character situation, where the countries locate their political relations, the discrimination and more. It goes through the process of how the main character is reforming the kingdom into a more powerful and better nation. The characters are also interesting, with many having unique talents or abilities. There are also the typical features of a fantasy world, like adventures and magic. Magic takes a backseat in the story, primarily being used in utility and combat. But it's not seen much. The show doesn't focus on combat much, so if you're interested in more fighting animes, maybe check out other shows instead. One divisive part of the anime is the inclusion of harem. For some, the romantic subplots throw them off the plot, but if you're interested in a show that it's more about politics, economics, war, and characters, then this is the show for you. The show is similar to Dr. Stone where you learn things throughout the story, however, you aren't shown everything involving the strategies or plans until after it's necessary. It's almost got a political vibe similar to Game of Thrones. While still being a feel-good anime, you don't expect to enjoy it as much as you do. And the dubs are decent. The dubs for the main characters are not distracting, but actually helpful. The show feels like one of the very few isekai where the main character is simply OP. Typical isekais are powerful fantasies with no story. Soma is not a super genius, but he's just strategically outsmarting every adversary. This is what makes this show worth watching. An intelligent person is tasked with reforming the kingdom and sets out to do just that. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in all of this information thus far. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, there are a few things I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, We the Celestials have got you covered. Our We the Celestials My Hero Academia and Naruto What If channels retell the story of the namesake anime with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Secondly, on behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We The Celestials, then I'd like to extend you an invitation to join our team. The only caveat being is that we only accept members from 16 and up to join our crew. You can sign up for whichever category fulfills your interest by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking forward for new members to join us. Well, that's it from us from today's video, so thank you for watching and have a great day!